What's new in Evolution X version 5.1 based on Android 11 with the build date of November 22nd running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Evolution X version 5.1 based on Android 11 with the build date of November 22nd running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now the first thing which they have fixed with this build is media playback issues in YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram and as you can see on your screen right now we do have the highlights from the Formula 1 and there are no jitters, no lags, everything seems to be working absolutely fine along with picture in picture mode on this build. We can now go into settings about phone android version and as you can see i am running evolution x 5.1 official build based on android 11 the build date is from sunday november 22nd now in case you want to learn how to install evolution x based on android 11 on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video moving over to the first major feature they have added anx camera which is now baked into the rom and everything works except for portrait mode now do note that when you open this camera application for the first time you are going to have a few crashes and to be exact you will have crashes for when you open the application for the first three times and after that everything should be working absolutely fine in case it is not you can always go into the application info and then you can go into storage and cache clear all the storage select ok and now if i try to open the application tap on allow there it is it closed let me open it one more time and now it seems to be working fine and for some of you it might crash more than once next up they have added a quick setting tile for language so you can always edit your tiles add the style and once you tap on it it is going to open the languages and input page and from here in you can choose the different languages select add language and yes you do have a bunch of different languages which are available in evolution x next up they have added some new animations so we can go into settings and then we'll go into the evolver and then if you go into animations scroll down you have all these different options like activity open animation activity close animation task open animation so all these options have been added with this november 22nd build and we can try changing some of them to see how they work there it is working absolutely fine with no issue to report we can go back to animation there is the new effect which we have just chosen let me change these back to default because they just make the system ui slow for me Next up, they have added power menu animation as well. So right now, AOSP is selected and this is how AOSP looks like. Let us try changing this to say fly and bam, that is how the fly effect looks like. We can change it to say 3D and there it is. That is how the 3D effect looks like for the power menu. And of course, you do have advanced power menu as well. Then if you scroll down, you can also configure your toast animation as well. So right now it is set as default and these are the different options which you have for the toast animation effect. Next up, if you're still in the evolver option, you can go into notifications and you do have the option of screen edge lighting. Now, unfortunately for me, I could not get this option to work whether I disabled it on AOD or not or just used a normal color or the system accent color it did not work for me so for me personally this option is broken right now next up if you scroll up on the notifications option you will have a toggle to enable or disable notification headers of course you do need to restart the system UI once that is done and while we are on the lock screen let me show you that screen of FOD does work without any issues in evolution x and once you disable the notification headers you're not going to have any notification headers so what are notification headers well you see this notification 
silent these are your notification headers and this is what we just disabled when we turned the toggle for notification headers off next up as per the change log they have also removed the option for now playing so if you go into settings and sound you will not have the option for now playing because it is broken however the developer did forget to remove it from display and then if you go into lock screen you have the option of now playing however as per the developer you should not enable this option because it is broken and it also causes other side effects for the system other than that you can also now configure the haptic feedback for your back gesture and the back gesture height so you can go into settings system gestures system navigation and if you're using the gesture navigation tap on the gear icon here are your different options which have been added so the amount of screen height to be used as touchable region for back gesture and the toggle to enable or disable haptic feedback for the back gesture these are the new options which have been added with this build next up you can also configure the minimum time between notifications on a per app basis so we'll go into settings apps and notification let us select the anx camera application go into notifications and here is the option which i'm talking about minimum time between notification sounds these are the different options so let us say someone is sending you a lot of sms messages and you want to be notified only once per minute for a notification from an application this is where you need to go to set up that now in terms of bugs you might have the issue wherein carrier services keeps on crashing so for that you just have to disable the notifications for carrier services or just force stop the application it is not going to affect anything and another bug which has persisted between the different builds is that the left shortcut for your lock screen does not work the right one works absolutely fine and yes you do have the option of configuring your fod animations now in terms of magisk safety net passes out of the box without having to root your device and there it is you can see it was a success and my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check whether the safety net is passing without any issues or not in terms of security you do not get the option of face unlock on this build but as we just checked you do have screen off fod and screen off fod works absolutely fine on this build without any issues in terms of display you do have live display and you can configure your rgbs and you can also configure your hue saturation intensity and contrast and all those options are working without any issues now in terms of app animations and gestures everything is super smooth there are no jitters no lags everything works absolutely fine there it is you can see the recents are super fast select option also works so what is the final take on this latest build of evolution x from 22nd november well in my humble opinion evolution x for android 11 is still evolving and things are not perfect as of now but yes we do have a pretty good android 11 rom for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome See you when I see you.